All right, boys, here we go. Your boy Zeke Pruitt in the booth. It is commentary today. What do you mean? Can you hear me loud and clearly? This is the SEC matchup we've been waiting for all season. Of course, I am here. Number nine versus number seven. Tennessee versus Georgia. Some people say it could be Tennessee at the top of the rankings. Some people say it's just fine how it is. We will not know until tonight. This is why matchups are made. This is why teams are prepared to clash because we have a clash of the Titans right here. Top two teams in the SEC, both sitting at seven and three, and it's on. It is on. This could potentially be an SEC championship matchup. Honestly, it really could. The only thing that could stop it is obviously one of these teams has to lose, and that's going to open the door for Bama to get a win and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that number two seed. So things are going to get really serious for whoever loses this game and Bama. So you got to pay attention to this matchup here, guys, as we get into this Week 12 thriller. I want you guys to join me in this one because we got a big one here. The kickoff is underway in Georgia. Going to be getting the ball first. We're going to get our first look at Adam Hatake. And remember, this kid had himself a night. Well, he's been having a pretty good, a pretty solid last couple of weeks, I should say. Georgia's been on this five-game winning streak so far. That's right. I said it. They are on a five-game winning streak. But... Tennessee's also on a four-game winning streak. So both of these teams streaking in the SEC right now, but one team must lose, and we'll see who it shall be. Here's Georgia starting this one off. 15 minutes on the clock, and we get it straight to Pat Kendrick. It's going to be the backup tight end there to my guy, Trustin Stack. A little shaken up on the seven-yard play there, but he does get his seven yards on the play. And it's going to be a handoff to Zach Tank. Zach going to be taken down in the backfield. Let me get a hashtag league first if you're in here joining us tonight for this SEC matchup, guys. Saturday night football in the RFL College Series 6. Adam Hatake taking a little snap. Quick pass. Oh, able to fit it over to Sinclair. Isaiah Sinclair coming up with a nice catch here. 12 yards on the play. First down Bulldogs. Five straight victories for the Bulldogs coming into Week 12, guys. They haven't lost since week five when they took that blowout to Ohio State, 40-6. to six. They had a bye week, week six, and they came back and ran five games off the board. That's how you get it done. Here's Zach going to get down at the 48, three-yard game. Big week last week for Zach Tank. As you see, 33 rushes, 203 huge yards, and one touchdown. This is one of the best in the nation. This young freshman running back, he is a workhorse and he brings heavy production here as you see him getting off to three yards on that play. Here he is again, going to take the snap. And he stopped in the backfield. And again, that's going to be the big guy, Rick Diesel. Remember Diesel last week on the cover? He was doing his thing. This week, getting to two stops right now already in this first quarter. This defense picking up some pressure. Here's Adam trying to keep the drive going. Here comes the pressure. Let's it go. Drops it off to Zach. And he stopped short fourth and four right at the 50 and Tennessee's defense coming out strong letting Georgia know this is going to be a tough matchup a tough night Tennessee feels they are one of the stronger teams in the league they feel they are the top of the SEC and this is their night to prove so as they're going to start this drive off on the eight beautiful punt from Georgia it's going to be a tough drive to get going but remember Jaden Young coming out in this ball game looking to get things going had a 30 for 40 night last week 335 yards one touchdown one interception and a very tight win over o oregon state 24 22 very big game went down to the wire but Jaden young played an excellent game down the stretch and got his guys involved threw a couple of bombs over the top as dotson gets the ball knocked out of his hand speaking of dotson he's been part of that great time that jaden has been having maddie king 161 yards rushing last week as well Hightower with 123 and Dodson with, with 100. So two receivers with over 100 yards last week as he finds Dodson here. But he's short third and seven. Remember, Georgia, one of the better defensive teams in the nation. We got Clemson, Miami, and I believe Ohio State, the top three. But Georgia is a close four maybe right there outside the window just hanging out. And a nice time. And there's that kid, D. Diggs, with a juke. Oh, able to catch it. And make Elijah miss the first one and 
and then he juked Dakota on the second one. That's two users. The two you defenders, he got past both user defenders. He blew past Elijah with speed, juked past Dakota Jones. Goodness. Remember, Devontae Diggs, a key threat to this offense. This kid knows how to get it done. You got to be aware of D Diggs. Here's the pressure, but you got to be aware of the front line. Georgia on attack. On attack. And this kid here, Mondin Jr., going to send him back eight yards. Second and 18 on the 28. Jane Young out of the snap. Oh, tough pass is caught by Reno Hightower. Now setting up a third and 13. On the 33 here. In the shotgun, clearing it out. Pass. And they're going to be stopped. Elijah Carter, one of the better tackling DBs in the nation, going to wrap him up and keep him short here. Fourth and eight for Thornton. And Georgia's going to get this ball right back here, guys, as both defenses are showing up to play. And again, Georgia hasn't lost a game since week five's blowout loss. Ohio State did them 40 to six. After that, they had a bye week in week six. They came out swinging. Week seven, they took down NC State. Week eight, took down Texas A&M. Week nine, took down Florida. Week 10, took down Wisconsin. Week 11, took down Ole Miss. So right now, that five-game winning streak is on the line. They're looking for six and an eight and three record on the season. First snap of the drive. It's a beauty. Got it to trust and stack. Big trust. Big trust. With big time yards on the play, coming out with a 26 yarder to start this second drive for the Bulldogs. Again, every drive is crucial in such a game and in one of those good old rivalry conference play games, especially this season. They're definitely rivals when it comes to guys like Elijah and these guys going at it with Errell Matthews and the, and the whole crew of Tennessee. So you got to think, this is a nice rivalry. And CS6 and Zach getting to the outside. Quentin Collins on a takedown. But a nice eight-yard gain for the freshman running back. Number two, he's been putting on a show. Shout out to number two, by the way. I had to pass that jersey along. You know, Zeke Pruitt originally rocking that Georgia two. So big ups to my boy Zach Tank. And he gets it in for a first down. First and ten for two. And Georgia trying to get some motion going. Trying to get this ball downfield. To get this ball game started with a score. Just about six minutes to go in the first quarter. Adam going to be going right back to Tank. Tank. Oh, bulldozes. Knocks a couple of guys over like bowling pins here. Just a bulldozer down the middle for another first down. And here comes Zach Tank. Starting to get in his bag. He is starting to heat up. Another handoff. More room. More cut work. Second and inches. 36 yards for Zach. He's heating up. I might have to pull out my rushing meter because it might be time to see how many yards this kid is going to rack up. It is early, but he's cooking. Another handoff and another first down and more. Oh, make it two first downs. <laughs> this kid can't be stopped. Tennessee has got to get some rush defense going. They've got to jam the box right now because this kid, Zach Tate, is having a day already up to a half century on that ground, rushing the football. They had to bring him out, put Robinson in, get him a breather. But they're going to keep attacking that rushing defense because it's not looking too good right now as Robinson comes in and picks up six yards himself. Tennessee's rush defense is definitely in trouble right now, and they have got to figure it out. They have got to figure it out. Another handoff, got it to St. Clair, tried to switch it up a bit. St. Clair... Got it down to the eight, third and two. So they will get a field goal at least here. Let's see if they can get another first or maybe a touchdown on this third right here. Here's Adam in the gun. Going to be looking to throw it here. Trying to go for the end zone. Got Trustin. Did get a first down. Five for five for Adam. If you were talking about Atake, he's good to go. Five for five to start this ball game on the two-yard line. Trustin Stack getting involved. Sinclair involved. Zach involved. We just haven't seen Big Muda. Muda man. We're waiting for him. But in the meantime, Zach is going to score a touchdown. And George is going to get this thing started off. You know the dogs are barking right now. They said, listen, we are the number one team in SEC. We got to see if Tennessee can respond to the first blow. 
The first blow is crucial. Zach Tank taking full control of this drive, getting him down for a touchdown. I love how they ended up let, rewarding the young running back. They let him drive him downfield, and they ended up letting him bring him home. That's how you do a drive. That's how you complete a drive, and that's how you get seven the right way. Georgia on the board, 7-0 to start this game. Rashad Mitchell in attendance. He's ready to go, taking down the notes, getting the reports of the night. Big time SEC matchup. Super Saturday has been amazing. I know you guys checked out some of those games. I know you guys seen some of those some of those upsets there. It was getting a little ugly here in week 12. You got to remember, as it gets closer to the end of the year, things start to get chippy, guys. As Jaden Young comes back out onto the field. Big ups to everybody in the chat. Elijah Carter himself, Zach Tank himself. Holiday season. Looking forward to your season, young fella. Part of that high school series. Here's Matty King, another top freshman running back, a juke move, and a first down. Out of Matty King and Zach Tank, we got to rank these two guys because I can't choose between the two. I think Matty's coming off 161 yards. Tank's coming off 206 yards. Which of these freshman running backs would you prefer on your team? Both SEC running backs, both having an incredible freshman season. Matty King is tough. Here he is again picking up another four yards, and now he said, it's my turn. Look at the numbers. 25 rushes, 161. You can't go wrong with either running back. Both guys are ready to go. As you see, Matty K going at it with user safety. Dakota Jones of Georgia. I'm going to pull up the, the, the official season stats here because I'm curious myself to see what these two running backs are doing. The pressure's coming, and that's the thing. I feel like that's the difference maker in this game, and I think that's why Georgia got the upper hand in the con in the conference standings because Georgia's defense is just just spectacular, especially that front line. They're going to put that pressure, and then DBs are, are handling as well. Lassiter's pretty good. Uh, you also got Elijah and Dakota, but sometimes, every now and then, you'll find Devontae Diggs, and he's going to put a dent in the defense. This is a kid who can make big plays. He can go score a touchdown, or he can cut up the middle and get wide open. You, you name it. Devontae Diggs can get it done. First downs all day for this young man. Super speedy. He's a speedster. First and 10. This is going to be one of the final plays of the first quarter, guys. We're going to go with Matty King, and they're going to empty it out for him. This O-line is going to clear the runway for Matty K. And that's going to be a first down for the young running back. Georgia now having some trouble themselves, keeping up with this run. This run game is causing them some fits right now. Both quarterbacks trying to play it safe and go with the run game what's been working. Let's get those twos in the chat, fellas. That's going to wrap up the first quarter of this SEC showdown. We've been waiting for this Tennessee-Georgia matchup, guys. And right now, Georgia is up 7-0 as we come into the second quarter. Let's get those twos. Tennessee might have something to say about that as they are currently driving this field on the 33. Jaden Young taking the first snap of the quarter, looking plenty of time to throw. He's going to launch a bomb, but Dakota Jones all over it strong safety user submitted dakota from pfl transferred to georgia from alabama completed his freshman season now he's in his sophomore year and he's making things happen for georgia seven and three looking to go eight and three on the season what a turnaround for dakota here lassiter coming down getting a tackle Want to stop him down at the 32. Third and nine. Jaden, this is going to be a difference from a field goal and a touchdown. Let's see if he can keep it going here. Has time to throw. Here comes that pressure, though. Gets rid of it. Oh! And Dakota. Matty King heard the footsteps. That's what they used to say. He heard those footsteps. Matty King might have had a first down on that had he caught it, but Dakota Jones coming to bring the pressure causing him to drop that one in Tennessee is going to have to oh settle for zero Campbell off the mark wide left he's wide left and this is going to give Georgia I'm sorry Georgia <laughs> shout out to Stephen A this is going to give them some great field position some great field position to start this drive on the 39, already up 7-0. Let's see if Adam Hatake can take advantage of this. He's got Zach Tank in a single back. Going with the fake. Plenty of time to throw. Oh, what a dime. Oh, Gabriel Betts. Six for six. And Gabriel Betts with the 35-yard reception. Getting him down to the 26. I guess it's safe to say that Georgia came to play. Oh my goodness, a pure dime 
to Betts. The old line has been blocking. Adam hitting his targets. Hasn't missed one yet tonight. Here he is again. Going to go with the flake. Fake. Rolling out. Uh-oh. Here comes that pressure. But he's going to dagger. Launch one. Oh, he tried to go with Muda. But, you know, one of the best DBs in the nation, young Trevon Knox Jr. You are in Knoxville with that kid. He is not having a Knox Island is what he calls it. Knox Island. Here's Adam again looking. After his first miss, he's going to pick up a first down. And that's tough for this young quarterback. He gets his first miss of the night, and he goes right back to that side, right back to Knox Island, and he finds a survivor, and that is Big Muda. First and 10 on the 15. Here's another fake. Adam in his bag, rolling out, drops it off to St. Clair, and he stopped on the 13. 100 yards already for A.H. to get this half going. As he definitely started off pretty sluggish. They didn't know if they believed in the young quarterback. But he definitely picked it up. And I think they're pretty fine with their quarterback for this year. I think Adam has worked out 7-3. and three, Started off pretty tough. But he's got it rolling. This kid just needed some time to get his game together. On the 13, he's got some work. Difference from 3 and a touchdown. Oh, but he might have got a free play. He might have got a free play. He's got some time. Oh, he's boomed. Rick Diesel causing a fumble with a rail on it. But wait. I think they're going to be doomed by that offsides. Can you believe it? They could have came away with a fumble, but Eric Claxton just too antsy on that line. And they're going to miss out on a huge opportunity. This is going to bring up a third and three now. And Georgia, very manageable. They can definitely pick this up with a strong run from Zach Tank. But they're going to go with Adam. He's been hot. He's going to go up top to the end zone. Oh, my goodness. Take the top off. St. Clair. Touchdown. That was beautiful. That was just a little lob over the top. What was the defense doing? Can I see the replay? Because how can you let a man just gradually just, just calmly lob it over the top? Oh, boy. That was nice. St. Clair, just easy work. Just drop right in the pocket there. Touchdown, Georgia. And this thing here. Putting Georgia up two scores, two touchdowns in the first half. has got to feel good from any ball club. It's tough to come across points in this league, especially touchdowns. And to see you get two touchdowns right out the gate, back-to-back -back drives, has got to be great for a team like this right now. When you're feeling yourself on a five-game winning streak, this just reinsures you that you're still playing some great football. But wait a minute. You might need to work on the special teams. Hold your horses. Tennessee is not out yet. We've seen it happen time and time again as Ricky Gibson, the third, runs it back to the crib. Oh, boy. Just when you thought Georgia had all the momentum in the world, Tennessee, Ricky Gibson running back to kickoff return, full length of the field, touchdown Vols. That will get these guys hype i know they're feeling a little down going down 14-0 the special teams getting the job done and saying don't worry we're going to take a little pressure off Jaden young we're going to take a little pressure off maddie king and we're going to go ahead and run this one back and just like that the game has turned around 7-14 back to a one possession game just as georgia got a little comfortable there after the field goal this is just madness we've been seeing more runbacks, I got to say, and which is pretty exciting. I actually like it. We've been seeing more punt returns, kick returns, taken back to the crib. It brings a certain excitement to the game that you don't expect. It brings some scoring that you did not expect. And right now, it's making this game one for the ages when you think about the 14-0 deficit. Now, just like that, a 14-7 turnaround right now. Here's Adam going to Zach Tank. Zach, nice cut in the middle, and he's taken down at the 34. Oh, my goodness. Yes, momentum, Charlie. Definitely going to get the offense revved up now as they come out onto the field after this possession. But first, the defense got to get it done against this kid, Zach Tank, because this kid's not having it. First and 10 again. And, hey, just because the special teams did their job, it doesn't mean that this offense has cooled down any. They're still cooking. Adam's actually, in fact, going to clear it out. He's looking to get targets, and he got another one. St. Clair's killing this defense right now. Somebody's got to get a number on number five somebody's got to get somebody on number five this kid is tearing his defense apart right now and adam hatsuke is just dropping dimes pure dimes on the 46 and now for georgia first and 10 7 14 ball game gonna go right back to zach zach 
tried to get around, but Rick Diesel just too fast there. He and Collins going to be there on the takedown and going to force Georgia back two yards here. Going to put them back to the 48 as they look to keep this drive going, trying to make something out of it, maybe even put the lead up a bit more. I'm telling you, ever since he had those Nikes on, uh, St. Clair, you put those Nike Maxes. Look, you're blocking too. He's blocking too. Isaiah St. Clair, freshman receiver. Look at that block for Zach Tank. Getting them those extra yards needed. Third and five here. Trying to keep the drive going. He's got open men. I see him. There's Muda. He found the target I was looking at right off the line. Burnt him. Adam Hatake, 11 for 12 right now. This kid is locked in. Week 12, he's got something to prove. First and 10 on the 33. Georgia just continues to move those chains. Here's a handoff to Zach. Zach trying to cut up the middle, but he stopped in his tracks. This is going to be a one-yard gain on the play. 71 yards tonight and a touchdown for Zach Tank. So already a solid night for the freshman. You can definitely expect 100 yards. It's just the first quarter with seven minutes to go. Here's another snap and another handoff. Zach trying to find his way around the defense, but it's just too much pressure. The blocking was not there enough as Rail Matthews is going to help Perry get down there and take Zach down. But here we go, emptying it out. Trips up top. You got Muda, St. Clair, and Trustin. But he's going to go the other way to Betts, maybe. Oh, Rockabye, baby. Knox Island going to take him down. And he's not going to be able to hold on to this. They're going to have to settle for three. But again, more points. You put it to a two-possession ball game, and you go up 10 if you can convert on the field goal. You must make it first. We don't count points. It's not on the board yet, and it is not good. This is why. This is why we don't count them. Both, uh, field, uh, both kickers have now missed a kick. One was wide left. This one's wide right. Georgia does not add on to this lead, which brings Jaden Young back out with a chance to tie this ball game up before the half. Plenty of time left in this first half. Tennessee's offense should be feeling a little bit good after that momentum shift, that momentum swing. They're going to empty it out. First play, looking like it might be something here. You know, Jaden, he's a tricky one. He'll take a shot or two. Gets it over to Dotson. That's one thing I like about Jay Young. He will catch you off guard and try to take the top off. First play of a drive. Any drive. Doesn't matter when. And he's normally successful. Here he is lining it up on the 45. Going to Matty King. Matty King. First down and more. Nice run. Strong run. Breaking a few tackles along the way. 36 yards now on the night for the young freshman. This is going to be one of those games, guys. Back and forth. You can't really call it. You got to live in the moment. Five minutes to go in his first half. Jaden Young taking a snap. He's got plenty of time to throw. O-line's doing their job. Gets it down to Matty King for another six yards. Here we go. We got another snap here. Jaden looking wide open. Digs. Diggs is doing damage right now. What's going on? It's getting physical. Oh, my boy's levitating. What is happening? First and 10 now. 44 yards for Diggs. Got another hand off to Matty, and Matty's met right away. Headstrong. Second and nine for Mondon Jr. Just a one yard gain there on the play. And Jaden going to drop back into the gun. Going to go back for the pass. Pressure coming his way. Dumps it off. Nothing. Third and nine, 21 strong, guys. 23 strong in the chat. Hit that like button on the way in, guys. Hit that subscribe. We got SEC action. Georgia, Tennessee, Jaden Young trying to keep the drive going. Dumps it off. Oh, Thornton Jr. picks up the first down on the 21-yard line. Tennessee trying to climb back into this ball game on the road in Athens and tie this ball game up before the half. Georgia's defense trying to hold strong. Had a couple of mistakes out here. Gave up a run back off the kick return. A couple of mistakes here. Giving up yards right now. Not taking advantage of the offense. Georgia making a couple of mistakes, but Tennessee trying to capitalize. Matty King making his way up to the 14. Second and two now. And Tennessee starting to lock in, guys. Tennessee starting to lock in. This Georgia defense starting to feel the pressure. They're starting to have their heels backed up against the wall. Tennessee's just pushing them back down the field further and further. They've got to try to step up and make a stop. 
a crucial one. Jaden, quick pass across the middle. First down for Dotson. These two have been clicking up the last few weeks in this win streak. And it's been very important that they do so. They've been coming across the wins that way. As we're going to get a timeout from Georgia here. They're trying to save some of that clock. They want to come back down when they get the ball. And they want to come down and try to score. So, coach is working on clock management right now for Georgia. First and 10 now. 140 to go here. And Jaden is going to be... Oh, he gets rid of it. Going to save his team. Of course, Georgia trying to keep these guys the three. That would be their best bet. But if, but if Tennessee can get in this end zone, we have ourselves a sure game and a possible classic. Here's Jaden dropping back. Plenty of time. This line's been doing their job. Drops it off to Maddie. Maddie going to try to go. And he stopped at the front door, literally on the one-yard line. Timeout again. Jaden going to be looking. Pressure coming. Dumps it off. Maddie King clear. Runway dives. Touchdown, Tennessee. Both running backs now with a touchdown apiece. And this thing is going to be tied up soon here. One of those games we might be looking for a classic right now. We might be looking at a classic SEC showdown, guys. Both teams stepping up right now in the first half. I got to say, this is a very well-played first half of football from both teams. Both teams putting up 14 points on the board. That is just good to see. I mean, we've seen some rocky first halves. We've seen some rocky quarters. Oh, no. I went against my own thing when I said don't guarantee points. I, guarantee, I tried to give them 14 just to give the good energy, the good juju. And it just it went against me. 13-14. Georgia is, in fact, going to remain on top. They're going to keep the lead. And they have plenty of time here. 126 with a touchdown to drive the field. Tennessee, they've got to be a little scared right now, concerned watching this game and figuring out what is going to happen, what's going to come out of that, because now he's looking for Muda Man. And that is his long, that is his long ball right there. That is a deep shot. Muda Man is on his way to this game. He has finally arrived, waking up, big time play down to the 49. You got to think with Georgia attacking, that's just a beautiful read by Adam. They're already going to be getting the field goal range pretty soon here. Just a couple more plays. Unless Tennessee's defense bites down and stops every play right here at midfield. Here's Adam going to be in the shotgun. He's going to be looking to let it fly. Now, remember, they want to score. Oh, he's letting it fly. All right. And he's got a man. Move a man. Touchdown, Georgia. I, I should be the coach. I'm telling you. They're going to go to Muda man. They go to him at the end of quarters because he is their long ball, their deep man, their money man. And this, he does it on the island of Knox. He does it on Knox Island. Knox Island has a new visitor. They have a survivor on the island. I think we have motion down there. I think it's a Muda man down there. <laughs> 2013. Oh, my. Took the top off. Adam had to K. Drop back and launched one. Goodness gracious. I'm telling you. And then Knox tried to recover. I thought maybe Madden was going to hit him with the, you know, hit him with the, he dropped the ball because he got hit off a crazy catch. But no, Muda man with the grip boost. He said, it's not going anywhere, Zeke. I got it reeled in. Touchdown me, my boy. 21-13, Georgia on top. You talk about momentums. You talk about Tennessee coming down, scoring a touchdown. You talk about a missing a field goal. Then you talk about Georgia coming down and scoring within three plays. Was that two plays, two pass plays? It's getting wild and out of control in the SEC. Georgia on top. Mondon Jr. with another sack just continues to apply pressure on Jaden Young right now. And Tennessee has got to find a way to reel it in. This is the time where games can get very ugly and chippy and out of hand. You see Georgia, they're swinging. This offense is on attack looking better than ever. Tennessee cannot get flustered. They must stay focused as Jaden takes a shot himself. Elijah Carter not going to have it. You see number one, black hoodied up. This kid's a tough cover. It's not many times you're going to see a guy catch it over him. He's a heavy hitter as well, so if you do catch it, likely you're going to drop the ball. Here's the handoff to Maddie. Looks like they're probably going to give up here on trying to get downfield as they go for the run. They do get the flag, and it's going to be a holding. So, yeah, this is going to hurt Tennessee here. They're going to bring it back even further down on the seven, and it's going to be a punting situation. And remember, we've seen Elijah Carter run one of these back. 
a few weeks ago so keep your eyes peeled for number one because he's definitely been in that end zone before here he is trying to get to the outside but he stopped at the 43 and guess what they still have time to even get another field goal if adam the way he's locked in if he can get another cross route or two with this 19 seconds and a touch in a timeout on the clock he could very well get these guys right back into field goal range here he is right now i'm going to take the snap he's looking pressure coming oh letting it fly out of bounds smart read 13 for 16 209 yards two touchdowns if you guys been watching this season let's talk about the turnaround for adam coming into this season versus now here he is again on the 43 looking got time oh he's just having it he's letting it fly today he's letting it fly today Moda man with another touchdown to the other side they're taking turns on they just running routes in practice this looks like skinny batman at this point uh, at bama with with my boy uh <laughs> with my boy young just, just, just throw it up there at this point this dude's burnt a rail and he's burnt Knox. he burned both cornerbacks both user cornerbacks have been burnt by this man what am i seeing guys this is all in the first half this is all within a minute a part of each other i don't understand this is the craziest minute of play to end a half that i've ever seen guys and they missed the field goal i can't call it i need help in the chat y'all gotta help me i don't know if i'm gonna make it out this game this is just wild right now this is just wild this man just took the top off of two drops oh my goodness <laughs> oh wow I haven't seen a performance like this. Nice pass. Nice pass to D. Diggs. Devontae Diggs is going to get his, and that's going to do it. Yeah, we got to get out of here, guys. We need to get out of this half. This half, I need a second to regroup because this has been one of those halves, man. Oh, my goodness. Georgia. What in the world? Muda. Adam Hatake. Zach Tank. Isaiah Sinclair. Trust and Stack. What got into this offense? These guys are putting on a clinic right now. I mean, an absolute show as they're attacking guys like Arell Matthews. They're attacking guys like Trevon Knox. These are lockdown DBs with seven wins under their belt. And you got to think, guys, this Georgia team, I knew it, coming out hungry. Back-to-back -to -back touchdowns to start this game. I said, okay, this is going to be a tough night for Tennessee because I already see. But then Tennessee started to get some things to fall their way. And then I said, okay, wait a minute, Georgia. But then these guys come with two quick ones. Muda, Muda, two bombs. Call him Muda two times. He did it two times on them. So it's like... I don't know how to call this one, but it's a big time third quarter, guys. Let's get those threes in the chat, fellas, because I believe we got a show on our hands. And this is great for Tennessee getting the ball here so they can come out and swing first in this half and make some noise and let Georgia know that they're actually here to play and not to lay down in Athens. Jaden Young has got to come out and be aggressive here in this third quarter. Matty King's got to get his looks as well. And this Tennessee team got to get back into it. As you see, like I told you, Jaden's going to come out aggressive. He might try to take the top off first play. Here he is. Pass. He's got Dotson. Nice look for eight yards down on a 25-yard line. Let's get those threes in the chats because the bombs on two different sides is different. You right about that holiday season. Listen bombs on two different sides bro it's like they oh what about this one though charlie dotson he did say just relax it's just to have we're gonna be all right we're gonna be all right don't worry we charlie's been putting in putting on a show 100 yards plus his last two games he said Jaden, just start getting the ball to me i'm gonna take over this game all right me get it to me and i'll take over this game 13 27 don't don't you just don't sit down just yet guys i want you to stay right there on the edge of your seat because you see Jaden calling empty sets <laughs> he's calling about three empty sets back to back now he's not playing no games he's trying to air it out here's Devonte. got the blocks he needed i was hoping he got to the outside now it's a foot race to the hook to the crib oh you gotta get inside you gotta run harder than that d digs you gotta run harder than that my boy but a nice attempt to get them down where they need on the four-yard line. And Tennessee looking like they might score here. 
Looking like they might score a re really quick drive. I mean, they took this one personal. I mean, I'm, I'm, I like this. I like this. They came back fighting right out the gate. I like these type of games. I, both teams are playing well. It's not like Georgia or Tennessee is playing bad. Georgia just playing very well, but Tennessee's playing well too. So if they can get a touchdown right here, things can get really oh cut up the middle right there. Maddie, nice, nice block work. Those old the O line is working right now for Tennessee, putting in overtime. Touchdown, Tennessee. How many touchdowns are we gonna get tonight? I love it. I love touchdown games for a commentary's point of view. I just love when, when guys are out here putting points on the board. Look at the strong running, look at the strong block, and everybody's getting paid, everybody's eating NIL deals. For all these guys, life is great. But we have a game here, 19-27, and it's been some field goals and PATs left off the board. We got to start cleaning that up out here if guys want to win any of these games because it's been ugly out here for PATs. There's the PAT they needed to cut this to a one-possession game, and just like that, Tennessee down 20-27. to Just when it was looking a bit ugly, they say, no, no, calm down. We're going to come out of the half. We're going to score. Easy. Dimes to Dotson. A couple of nice runs from Maddie. Now we got to see how Georgia comes out. I'm talking this is a true SEC fight. Six targets for Khalid. Five receptions out of those six targets. 151 yards for two touchdowns. I'm talking about have a day, young man. Put together one of the best receiving games we've seen this season. I need to see it. Here's Adam. He's not done throwing the ball. Muda, he goes straight back to Muda. He goes straight back to Muda. This kid is looking for Khalid Lyman. Every time out now. Second and nine on the 26. Going to go back to Zach. Haven't seen Tank in a while. Oh, my gosh. The stiff arm with a couple of big steps to follow before the takedown. Third and three. Now they're trying to mix it up. They were throw heavy to end that half. Now they might throw Zach back into the mix. As you see him, back-to-back -back rushes. Nice cut work. Nice first down pickup. 88 yards. And Zach saying, now, guys, I want to work on my 100 yards. He said, Muda. He talked to Muda in the back. In the locker room, he said, all right, Muda, I need my 100. <laughs> First and 10 on the 42. Georgia, again, with a nice drive, it looks like. Another hand off to Zach. Nice cut work, trying to get outside. Oh, breaking tackles. Oh, my goodness. Going to be stopped on the 49. This kid is a tank, bouncing off every tackle. And he's talking that talk to Knox. This is an incredible game from Georgia. This is, I'm telling you, this offense is putting in work right now. Zach Tank, another... Strong run, tried to get past a uh, who was that Rick Diesel, but Diesel wasn't having it. Wrapped him up seven tackles on the night, third and one. I'm sure they'll go right back to tank for another run to get this for oh, quick pass. Oh, Tristan Stack not gonna hold on as McCullough comes away with the tackle. I don't know, I felt like they should have went back to Zach to solidify that first down. He could have picked up the one yard easily, tired or not. Now you're forced to punt on a fourth and one back to a team who just scored on an easy drive. Guys, I got a feeling. I'm seeing 27-27 soon, very soon. Both of these teams locked in. You see D Diggs, five receptions, 101 yards. So he said, Muda, man, I'm doing a little bit of dirt over here myself. I'm getting messy over here myself and getting in the mix. Look out for Devontae Diggs. Tennessee trying to get back into this game, but it's going to always hurt when you get a false start. Going to have them backed up on the 15 against this Georgia defense. They've been playing very well against this Georgia defense. Putting up 20 points so far. Looking for seven more to tie this game if possible. Here's Jaden going to go with Maddie King. Maddie going to be met by Dakota Jones. Second and 13 here on the 17. 25 strong in the chat. Under center, Jaden going to make the call, dropping back, looking to pass, dumps it off to Maddie. Maddie's got Dakota. Dakota strong, man. Dakota Jones is making strong plays out here tonight. I've been seeing him get to the backfield and get it done. Trying to keep the drive alive. 15 yards to go. Third and 15 on the 15. Young receiving pressure, stepping into the pocket, going to take it himself and slide. And unfortunately, that is going to be a three and out, and he's going to have to get this one back to Georgia. Just under eight minutes to go, and the Bulldogs' defense hold true. Didn't even let him get to midfield.
Again, we're going to get a kick. Going to get a punt here. Elijah Carter has a punt return under his belt for the season. One back to the crib as he looks for another before the season is out. Six receptions, 152 yards, two touchdowns. Khalid Muda Lyman has been the storyline here for Georgia. As he and Adam Hatake have been linking up uh, just before the end of the half. Two quick bombs on both sides of the field. And here he is. Oh, he was probably trying to throw another bomb, but not able to do it because Peely going to be there on the sack and not going to start this drive off good for Georgia. Second and 15 on the 33. Here's the fake, and Adam looking, rolling to his right, going to dump it off, and broken up by Arrell Matthews. Great defense from Matthews there on the outside. Third and 15, trying to keep this drive alive. Oh, Muda, he said, what I miss? Muda, what did you miss? Oh, my goodness. Another pass, and a good one to St. Clair. And again, both of these receivers are cooking. It's not just Muda. St. Clair with 63 yards as well. Muda with 152 yards and two touchdowns. St. Clair with 63. He's putting in work, picking up a huge first down, 15-yard gain right across, splitting the sea. Beautifully done. First down for Georgia. Going to get him down on the 43. Shotgun action. Just crossed midfield. Gets it to Zach. Zach with some space to run. Going to get it down to four yards. And there it is. 100 yards. 101 yards for Zach. 152 for Muda. 101 for Zach. 63 for St. Clair. How many people can get 100 yards for Georgia tonight? Over 200 for Adam. Here's Zach again cutting in for six yards this time. Third and four. Yeah, Muda. It was crazy, man. Just before the half, two... Two head tops, bro. Like, it was wild. To the left side and into the right side. You and Adam are going crazy. And there's St. Clair again. I'm telling you. This kid, Adam, is on the money. What is he doing? Adam Hatsuke having a day. Look at him putting the pass on the money under pressure. Getting it to St. Clair. St. Clair is putting on a show. Running beautiful routes. Cutting back. Coming back to help his quarterback. He is doing the job. Muda, he's just been a speedster. He just fast. He just going to take the top off. But St. Clair, he's out here doing the route work, the route damage, the slot work. And there's Zach with a knife. Oh, my gosh. What just happened? Did he just ice skate to the end zone? He just, what happened? Oh, touchdown, George. I don't even know what to say at this point. They're making plays I haven't seen. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. <laughs> Zach Tank. I mean, can they get a hand on him? Can they, can they take him down? Goodness. I know the Georgia faithful feeling good in the chat. What's going on with this kicker? How many PATs is he going to miss? Because now I got to call it out, fellas. I mean, I tried to be nice, but now I got to call it out, fellas. What is going on with this young man? <laughs> I'm talking about these are not even field goals. These are PATs. You got to get it together, my boy. You're on scholarship. Oh, man. Four minutes to go. Hand off to Matty. Matty outside, and he's taken down here. Going to be a loss of one on the play. Darks get into the backfield. 33 to 20. Georgia on top. Big plays. Zachary Tank. I don't even know if his first name is really Zachary, but Zach Tank. Oh, there's the big hitter, Elijah Carter. I told you to watch out when you're going his way. He's a tough cover. Tough to get a pass over on him. And if you do get a pass over on him, you better hold on to that football. Third and 11 here. He's going to get Jaden. That was a tough run from the quarterback. I'm surprised he held on to it. But again, it's going to be short. And again, this Georgia defense just showing to be too strong out here for this Tennessee offense. Look at them swarm. Other than uh, Diggs and maybe Dotson, it hadn't been much to go around. I haven't seen much of Reno Hightower tonight. 
Maddie King's been pretty solid. Diggs has been good, and Dotson's been okay too. But it's been a tough one, man. This and then the Tennessee's defense has yet to figure out Georgia's offense. They've been attacking. I think it's because Georgia's. This is one of the games where I've seen Georgia use all their weapons, all the receivers, tight end, running back. Everybody's eating right now for Georgia. Two touchdowns now for Zach and Muda. Here's Adam looking again. Flag on the play. Gets it to St. Clair. Oh, my goodness. He's able to snag one over Hancock. We're going to have a holding there. Ernest Green bringing it back. Here's another handoff to Zach. Zach, oh, passes the line there and gets it down at the 27. Second and 11. 128 yards on the ground for Tank. See, I'm see, it just couldn't have been Zachary, right? It's Zacchaeus. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm finished. <laughs> Third and 11. Finish him. Two on the 27. Adam trying to finish the drive here. Shotgun action. Taking a snap. You know he's normal for taking the top off. Got some pressure coming his way. And he's going to throw it right out of bounds. He's going to throw it right out of bounds. And Tennessee. Deal with a chance here. Big time stop. Going to get the ball back with 142. Let's see if they can come down and get work done. Still got a whole quarter left to play to get back into this ball game. But right now. Trailing by 13. On the 30 right now, Dotson coming out, Jaden coming out. These guys are ready to play. These guys want to get back into this game. Reno Hightower is yet to see a great ball tonight. Here's the pitch to the right. Maddie has all the blocking cuts inside. And Dakota Jones, again, got to get back there for the tackle. Nice little move from Matty. I'm not sure if he had the room outside. Might have had a couple of blocks out there, but. Here's another handoff. Matty, nice running, and he's going to pick up the first. He's flirting with the, with the cutbacks and running outside right now. He doesn't know which one he wants to do, but he does get it to pan out for him this time for a first down. And these Georgia boys... They're trying to hold up. This defense trying to hold strong. Going to get it to the outside again and stopped in his tracks again. Starks putting on a show in this third quarter. Five tackles now, and he's been getting to that backfield, causing all types of havoc, wreaking havoc out here. Georgia, one of the storied franchises or programs in the college series. Let's get that four in the chat, guys. Four is in the chat. Georgia up 33-20 right now. As they look to go 8-3 and three on the season after a sluggish, a slow start. And they look to be on the top of the SEC here in CS6, 8-3. If they can hold on at home and win. A lot of ball game left in this one. And a lot can happen as we finally see Reno Hightower getting his reception there. And I'm telling you, if they can start getting him involved as well in the mix with Dotson and these guys, it can get very ugly. Remember, Tennessee is going to have to fight. Jaden Young's going to be letting it fly now with that clock winding down in the fourth. So now, as you see again, Reno back-to-back. -back. We're going to start seeing them attack this Georgia defense like they haven't been attacking all night long. This is going to be the true test to this Georgia defense. I've seen them almost give games away at the end, just like this. But they held strong. This is a team in Tennessee you don't want to play with like that. Here's Jaden in the shotgun. Being very aggressive right now. It might not be too many more runs for Maddie for the rest of the game, but he is going to be looking to pass to Maddie, and he's going to pick up the, fat, the face mask. This is what I'm talking about right here. Georgia's got to stay disciplined, stay poised, because Tennessee is on their way. All they need is a touchdown, and this game looks a lot closer. It looks a lot closer. They are going to try to make Georgia work for this one. 33-20 down on a 23. Georgia needs to force a turnover at this point because Jaden, he's headhunting. Oh, tries to get it to Dotson and Smith. Going to take him out from up under. Just a nice hit there to make sure he didn't hold on. 
Dodson with a gut check. 20 to 33, second and 10 here. Jaden Young going right back to his man. He said, I don't care. I'm going back to my guy, Charlie. You hear me? First and 10 on the 11. Dotson, 75 yards, working on three straight weeks of 100 yards plus. Let's see if he can get it done. Here's Jaden again. Jaden's pretty good when he's being aggressive. And there he is. Touchdown to Thornton Jr. We have a ball game. I told you guys, get ready for SEC Classic. You might as well mark it down. It's going to be a classic. Touchdown, Tennessee. And Jaden Young plays his best football when he's under pressure in a hurry up. When he's under pressure, forced to throw the ball, he plays his best football. When he's being passive, when he's not looking for his guys, he is not too good. He must stay aggressive. They've got to let him let, let it fly. Once he's in that mode, he's tough to stop. We are back in the game now. 26-33. This is not guaranteed PAT. Let's see if he can get it done, and he does. 33-27, guys. We have ourselves an official game. They have cut this thing back to a one-possession game. Just a touchdown will tie it. A PAT takes the lead. But Georgia first with a chance to put this lead up. Their best bet is to come out. And at least get three. If they can at least secure three, then they'll make sure that this is a two-possession game. And no matter what Tennessee does, they'll have a chance to still stay on top and get the ball back. But they got to get some points on the board here. Really good SEC game. Living up to all the hype. Living up to this matchup. I love when games live up to the hype, especially the conference ones. I feel like we've been seeing a lot of tough, close conference games um, this week, guys. And it's been it's been a show. And we're going to get another one, Utah and Oregon, on Monday night. So be ready for that one as well. Should be another tight, classic game. Here's Zach trying to get that first down, and he stopped in his tracks. 134 yards, but he will not convert. And Rick Diesel up to 11 tackles on the night. This kid... Has been incredible on this four-game winning streak. Rick Diesel has been stepping up and leading this defensive unit at that middle linebacker position as they force a fourth and one in Georgia now, forced to give it back to Tennessee with 11 minutes to go in this ball game as they trail by seven. Or actually by six. I'm sorry, seven gives them the lead. So if they can go ahead and score here and then get a PAT, they'll go ahead and take the lead here. So Tennessee looking hungry on the 26 already. So solid field. Again, Jaden pretty strong when he's aggressive. He's going to go at Reno. Nice blocking. Getting to the outside. Got to be careful out there. This kid Elijah can get you for a forced fumble. A nice seven-yard run here from Reno. And like I told you, man, once they got Reno Hightower involved, I feel like this, this offense has changed a bit. They need all three of their guys to cook. Matty King now, first down. They have to have all three on the outside. Diggs, Charlie, and Reno. And right now, Reno has finally joined the other two. And Tennessee looking pretty good right now in this second half. Here's Jaden going to empty it out. Again, trips up top. Dots and Diggs. Reno, he's looking for Diggs. He's got plenty of blocking. Somebody just got lifted. Oh, nice running from Diggs. This nice cut work. Going to work his way in for a first down. And this kid's trying to match Muda's energy. He's up to 115 yards receiving. Doesn't quite have the touchdowns to go with it. But he is making some noise in this ball game tonight. Look at him with the cut work. Number eight is locked in. And right now, this Georgia defense, they've got to hold strong because Tennessee's fighting back. Here's the pitch to the right. Oh, the defense is all over it. Those pitches are dangerous. Those pitches to the right, to the left, doesn't matter. Just do a draw, do a <laughs> do something else, do a slam, but not a pitch. Never the pitch. Here's a handoff, and he's taken down at the 47. Third and 14 now. And this is a crucial down, if ever, for Tennessee. This might be the most important down of the game so far. They need to convert here over the top, and they got Dodson. The money man. That could be another 100. Dodson with a big play. Probably the biggest play of the game. Seven receptions for 101 yards. That's now three straight weeks with 100 yards receiving for the tight end, Charlie Dodson. And he has really turned things around here for Tennessee. 
this season. Once he started going, getting it going, they haven't lost games. They are undefeated right now, and Charlie's over 100 yards. Here's Jaden with the pressure coming. Got to get it out of bounds. But that was an amazing catch in that circumstance. Just a huge play for Charlie Dotson and Jaden Young to connect on that one and keep this team in the ballgame. Second and 10 here. Going to be a handoff to Maddie. Maddie trying to find his way up the middle, but he's taken down at the 24. Third and eight. We got some Texas Longhorn guys in attendance. I keep seeing the Texas guys down there talking. Big 12 football is trying to get in the mix. SEC on the screen right now. Pressure coming. Jaden avoiding a sack. Looks. Time delivered. Reno Hightower. What a pass. What a play. I called this kid's number. He answered the call. And ever since, he's been on a tear. And that is just what Tennessee needed to get back into this ball game was number two, Reno Hightower. That was all they were missing. Dodson was working. Diggs was working. Maddie King was working. Reno was silent. They've woken Reno up, and he's awakened in, in, in just incredible fashion, tying this ball game 33-33. What a game. This is a sure classic right here. I'm talking back-to-back. -back. And look at this. The kick... The kicking woes continue, which is going to keep this one dead locked. Georgia getting lucky here. This is the second time Georgia's gotten lucky. Remember, they could have been 14-14. Tennessee missed a field goal or PAT to tie it 14-14. It was 14-13. Georgia then came down. They missed a couple PATs themselves to get this to 33-33. So still tied up. Georgia with a chance for a field goal to win this game. This is a wild game, guys. You, if you're really been, if you've been here for this whole game, this is wild. How everything has been panning out and playing out to get to where we are, 33 locked. The kickers are having a tough night. Both kickers missing some key kicks. That's changing this score around quite a bit. But a nice dime and deliver. Muda finally gets one while he's watching the game. He finally able to catch a pass. It's been a while. He took a hit too. He had to pay for that one across the top, but he did hold on. First and 10 on the 44. And another run from Zach, and he's taken down. And it's funny because kickers have been playing very well lately. You can even see Robert Gunn hit a 56-yarder. Kickers have been locked in over the last couple of weeks. It's just this one game where they just decided to not show up. And Zach Tank said, I will show up, though, because I'm here with 154 yards and two touchdowns, and I've been taking over this drive while you're talking nonsense. He has been running the show in this drive and actually running that clock out, which is more important than anything. Zach Tank been running the clock out in this drive right here. Oh, Tennessee able to get to the backfield and stop him. He's not even going to be it. They're not even going to record it as a sack. He's trying to hand that ball off. Second and 14 now. These guys are trying to at least get in field goal range. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And they just keep backing up and backing up. First, they got taken back off the hit. Now they're taken back off the flag. Everything against the home team right now. Adam going to drop back into the shotgun. He's going to send Muda out right. Here he is looking. Pressure coming. Gets rid of it. Throws one. Got a man. Oh, he's back in. The backup tight end. Yo, this kid, Adam Hatake's accuracy needs to be studied. His week 12 accuracy off the run, falling back, fade away, stepping in, standing still, any type of throw, he has been on the money. His week 12 accuracy needs to be studied. Oh my gosh, that de definitely secured the field goal. On the sixth, Zach Tank, Adam's going to try to get it done with a pass to the end zone. Nobody there. And remember, a field goal is not even... Guaranteed. Not even guaranteed. On the six, shotgun action, second and goal. Hold, got to take care of the ball. Get it to Zach. Zach outside trying to get in with the stiff arm, and he's taken down. They're going to make it tough for Georgia to get into this end zone. You know Tennessee, they know how costly that would be for this team. With just under 2.30 to go, they know a touchdown would put them into some serious trouble because then they would be forced to drive the field for a whole touchdown versus just getting three on the board. So this play is crucial right here. Third and goal. And actually, with tie game, i go for it on fourth. Honestly, but no need because Betts is there for the touchdown, and this is trouble for Tennessee. 
They now have to score a touchdown. Gabriel Betts, another target, generic receiver, draftable, going to be getting the touchdown. And Adam had to K again. Look, falling to the side. This kid's accuracy in week 12 has got to be studied. It's got to be studied. Betts is he's got Betts cooking. He's got St. Clair cooking. He's got Trust and Stack cooking. He's got Muda cooking. Zach Tank is cooking. He's cooking himself. It's a lot of cooking. It's a lot of cooking. And they get the PAT 40 to 33. When the last time you seen a, a, a really good high scoring game that was actually close? Like 40 to 33. And I mean, every point mattered and every point was exciting. This has got to be the game of the year. I mean, just the, 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 the height of this game, the level of this game, and the performances from both sides. I mean, I'm impressed with both sides, right? I, I haven't really, I don't really see bad play going on here, except for the kickers. But the offenses and defenses, they're doing all they can. They've been fighting all day. This is it, though. Just under two minutes. Three timeouts, both sides. Jaden Young has got it. This game is following him. He's going to take a shot, and he's got him, man. He's got him beat, Reno. Woo! He's going to overthrow him, and Lassiter's he snatching my boy up like that. I, I don't know. I'm neutral, but I don't like that. <laughs> That's how you get hurt. 33-40 on the 25. Jaden Young going to be looking again. All right, dropping it off the Dotson. All right, they're going to play a short game here. He tried to take the top off. Didn't work. So let's play it safe a bit and get it to our hot hand. Dotson, 118 yards. This kid's cooking. It's getting a little hostile out here, Muda says. Zach attack on that Martian Lynch timing. Oh, man. Dior Gore in the building. TRP stepping in. Big time game, guys. Big classic right here is SEC matchup. This game is both of these teams need this game. They want it bad. They want to be crowned the SEC champs. This is the game to do it because after this, we just have one more game. If Georgia wins this, they'll have the regular season under their belt and they'll be looking for that conference championship game. They're trying to clinch right now. Here's more pressure and I don't know, guys. It's getting a little ugly. This Georgia defense is lethal and that is going to be the reason why they might win this game Jaden trying to find a way to get over on him uh oh he's going to have to go for it on fourth and 12 this is not good can he pick up the 12 can he pick up the 12 here he is looking surveying the field pass down the middle he's got the 12 digs oh man I thought he was going to go there's D Diggs. Never forget about this kid. One time out. They're going to spike it. They're going to have to spike this one. Jaden Young. Going to spike it. It's going to save a touch. Going to save a timeout. 38 seconds. Guys, edge of the seats. We got our dramatic fashion finish here. It's dramatic. 33-40. You know I'm going to call it out every little bit. 26-yard line. Shotgun action. 38 seconds. Jaden looking. Got some time. Oh, I don't know what that was. But he lets it. Tries to dump it off. I don't know what. That dump off was, but third and 10 on the 26. This is it, guys. 35 seconds. Jaden looking, letting it outside to the flats, and it's short. Fourth and six. Uh oh. One more play. He can get a first down here. Still got time. Still has a timeout as well. Hasn't burned the last timeout. This is not over. 21 yard line action. Jaden Young. Takes the low snap. Looking. Dagger. Oh, Elijah Carter on the breakaway, saving the game. Elijah Carter Jr. Hoodie man. With the game saving breakup. And that's going to do it. Elijah Carter Jr. Making up covering ground, getting his left hand in there. Bad that football away, and the fat lady is singing. 33-40, 21-yard line. Tennessee's officially used their last time out. Georgia going to take the Week 12 victory, guys. GG's in the chat. Wow, what a game. The Bulldogs moving on to 8-3 on the year. Remember when they started off rocky. Miami started off rocky. Georgia started off rocky. Tennessee started off rocky. LSU started off pretty rocky. All of these culture teams, you know, teams that people expected to be great, top three teams. But now 
the proof is in the pudding that georgia is here to stay eight and three on the season they locked in when it needed to be they locked in when it mattered the most and now as you see i'm going to bring up on your screen here this sec graphic guys and georgia eight and three tennessee gonna fall to seven and four and this is where i said they gotta be careful and beware of bama remember bama's got a game coming up tomorrow guys so if they tennessee is going to really need bama to lose because that's going to put them at both seven and four now if you can help me out in the chat there i'm not sure who has the tiebreaker between bama and tennessee i think tennessee beat bama actually so bam so tennessee is going to get lucky there if they do hold on there that's because i do remember tennessee knocking bama off so tennessee might still have secured that conference championship against georgia but georgia will be walking away with the regular season and making sure that they secured that bag in the sec and man oh man what a fight it has been i was waiting for that matchup between these two guys and it was more than uh it was it, it lived up to all expectations guys again i just want you guys to take a look out for some of these games that we got coming up here uh tomorrow had to push them back didn't have enough time to get them all done today but we have that good old usc ucla rivalry that good california love right there who you guys got between the trojans and the bruins in the pac-12 as they look to compete in la for that day really at the rose bowl also coming up tomorrow we got a matchup between alabama and notre dame remember big time game for bama even though tennessee holds that spot bama will still look to win out and you know cause a little bit of controversy and see who deserves it and then we're gonna close out with a nice texas matchup good old texas rivalry texas versus texas a and m texas holding down that big 12 and they're looking for their eighth win as well seven and three on the season looking to clean up texas a m on the road you guys tune in 1 p.m eastern for all three of those games going down coming to you live from the college series channel and yes we will have some high school football tomorrow still um i'll probably have a couple of premieres and then i'll do a couple of lives guys so we'll have some live action on the board there for you guys so yeah we're definitely still going to get some high school spring ball going tomorrow i will have maybe about maybe three to four games that will that will get through uh all going to be about six minute games uh eight minute quarters for the regular season six minutes for for spring ball five minutes for scrimmages guys so you just gotta uh make sure you guys tune in tomorrow it's been a great week so far guys tomorrow we got three games coming for your college series and we got about a few games coming for your high school series and then monday we're going to close out the week with utah and uh oregon And here goes the final schedule again as you see Oregon Utah there and that'll just about do it guys as I'm going to go ahead and pull up these stats for you guys to check out a crazy high action pack game I know you guys want to check these stats and I will see you guys in the discord love y'all have a great night be safe peace